Awesome. Thank you all so much for joining us, being back for yet another uh, episode here. As you can see, I've made no such progress since last time, but this is kind of what we're looking for. So let's go fishing. I think that seems to be... What did I do? I have no idea how I did that, but okay, so... Best fishes, of course. We're gonna try it. Awesome, that's one plant. Just gonna let them plant it on us, literally. Oh, come on, I could have had that one. You know, I was just looking at the task and I don't even know how many of these I need. Five, maybe? I have three of them, so that's certainly more than half. Okay, that should be all of them. So that's how we're starting things off there. And going to token a hiking. You know what, I'm running out, I don't even know where I'm going. Alright, so it's this one up here. I'm getting a layout of where things are, especially how all the down is kind of isolated here at the top. Yeah, you know, I had a dream about this, that I was fishing up for some plant type things. And you know what? You know what happened to them? They were token away from me. Anyway, all right, but anyway, no, so now, kind of nearing the end of this one, which is very good because the suit you get for this is pretty, well, outfit, I should say, the outfit you get for this is amazing. So you need a belt and buttons from a level seven plus cog. Plus, we need 25 cell bots. But then we also need head honchos, which, if I'm looking at this right, so they would be under board bots, technically. Yeah, head honchos are kind of like... What would be the equivalent of, say, a Big Cheese, for example. Or... A Big Wig. Robert Barrett. Mr. Hollywood. So you're more than likely only going to find these in buildings. Unless, of course, we have an invasion going on, which... That's really it. So... For now, because there, there's... Nothing else we can really do at the moment. Let's try and look for... A level 7 plus cog to get this from. I don't know what the drop rate is. I'm sure if we did a building that it, we would get it within that one chance there. Yeah, that should be enough if we do that. They're really, uh... It's, it's crunch time, really, because we're getting near the end of at least getting through these side tasks and making sure we're all good in that regard. Nope, we did not get it there. Time to face the two-face. I feel good about this one. But yeah, if there were certainly any groups about either a board bot building or a cell bot building, I would so take advantage of that. That would certainly be a good way to go. Unfortunately, there are no up, not up right now. 
Uh, and one thing I've noticed is that it's very hard to get a group for a board bot building. I, uh, of the uh, five kind of departments and such, for a building, that seems to be the most difficult to try to get one for. And I, I know there are reasons behind that and why that's the case. So it's kind of like I'm trying to hold off as much as possible until I kind of see that there's interest, at least, in doing a building like that. Or if I have, like, an hour to wait, maybe. I don't know. No, I'm sure it's not an hour, but still. It's just a matter of just trying to balance and find efficient timing with getting tasks done. Oh, awesome. So... I am definitely not directionally challenged. I know exactly where I'm going, even when there's a map in front of me. Yeah, that was totally it. I love hearing that sound for leveling up. So yeah, now we're at 89. Laugh with that level up. Awesome, and so now we do actually get to check out this outfit. Go home. Interesting, like, go home is what people also tell me when I tell jokes. So this is pretty awesome. So you see the uh, Ranger shirt, that's pretty awesome, and the shorts. They got little acorns kind of around it and such. So you kind of get to see how it works as soon as I can find it. Oh, here we go. And so... Take a look at that. Look at how that works. Yeah, I mean, take a look. That just looks amazing. Looks like I'm rocking the bow tie. So actually, personally, I, I mean, I really do like that. You know, yeah, let's just stick with it for now. I really like the detective outfit, too. I've been having on, but you know what? It's time for a change. Time to... Try something new out here, you know. That's why they give us this clothing. Try them out, obviously. So now let's go back to the playground. And let's get working on those cell bots. Now the next point is going to be where is the best point to find cell bots? This does not look to be it, Chief. Alright, so yeah, zero percent. Ah, uh, boy, do I know how to go down the right road first time around. I wouldn't imagine it would be that one. Let's try this one next. So, if I remember this right, ideally, this... If you have a street in which it leads to a COG HQ, yeah, like that, or that, or that, it kind of set up that way, it's like you're kind of going to face more of that COG type. So in other words, when you go down, uh... the street, you know, down the road, or whatever, that leads to a COG HQ, so for example, if you're here, Going down that way, you're more likely to face cell bots on the street going to cell bot HQ. That's at least kind of what I've found empirically. So yeah, here we go. 30% chance of cell bots on the street and we just ran into a cell bot right here. This seems to be more evenly distributed.
Okay, a six-story board bot building right behind us. Realistically, that should be pretty good. Actually, it looks like there might be a board bot building over here, too, in front of us. Actually, I am interested if these cell bots could be anywhere. Oh, oops, I guess that wasn't enough. That's okay, you just kind of zap it again. Because yeah, in theory, we could just probably do a factory and get a lot of these knocked out there. Yeah, 25 cell bots anywhere. Leo, why don't we do a factory? That seems to be a good way to go. First things first. You could ever have enough gags and laugh. Alright, where are we headed? Hypno Height Cell Body HQ. It's gonna. Oh, you know, it's not actually gonna be that bad trying right? to get back because you'll just run straight from. Africa Garden, so the way over back here. That's not going to be bad at all. I was like, oh, I don't have teleport access yet. I'm going to have to run it back and forth. But no, that's actually... So, okay. So time to test out actually that theory I was saying a little bit ago. So here we go down. Tulip Terrace, Warnick, Silmon HQ. Yeah, okay. So. Realistically, I think there should be more Silmons kind of hovering this street. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You see how that's kind of like an 80%. You kind of see as you're running around, you see a lot more cell bots than you would other types of cogs. So yeah, that's kind of why it's like, if you're looking for cell bots, I mean, this is a really good place, but if you're at Acorn Acres, you want to stay there. Uh, going down that road, headed toward Boss bot HQ is probably not the, your best bet in terms of uh, trying to find cell bots. Anyway, though, with that said. You know, it is really awesome that, though, especially with this, you have this boarding group feature still. And you can just go from here. It's very actually fast, efficient. Very nice. All right, and so let's finish at least the cell bot part. Still kind of working on this. This is a really tough, relatively tough to operate. I mean, you want to talk about, I maybe defeated about 9 or 10. They've got 3. So somewhere around like a 30 to 35% chance drop rate. Somewhere there, based on my experience so far, it's probably 
supposed to be higher than that. I'm just having bad luck with it. And they kind of speak like they do have bolts in their mouth and uh, they have the English speaking skills of me, so I applaud them on that for their effort. I don't even know where I'm supposed to head next. I'm just assuming it's back here. Oh, awesome. I was supposed to be here. I guess they're a deer, a deer cover. Oh boy, I can't wait for this one. Such a cute little deer, though. I just really want to hang out with that deer cover. Oh, so now I'm going back to Lugu Lake. Which is somewhere over here. This should be easy to remember, but I highly doubt I will. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm a cog. I'm incognito, so to speak. You know, you feel like there should be two shopkeepers here. A deer cover investigator. Feel like, yeah, you got a deer and a gator. Missed opportunity to uh, have two shopkeepers, kind of. All right, so 15 level eights. We're not going to find those on this street or in this uh, district even. Let's see, can I even find any here like this? So if you think about it, you know, because level 8s are actually not that bad. It's only 15 of them. We got this in the bag. The only thing we don't have is the fact that higher level cogs like this do quite a bit of damage on you. And actually, so like, on the bright side though, you do have these knock knock jokes. Doesn't it matter? Uh, that one works too, yeah. But yeah, at least the, you have those knock-knock joke doors to kind of heal you up. I've been counting on you joining that battle anyway.
So awesome. Three down. Gotta try to look for something not too challenging. We're on the move, we're on the hunt. So we definitely got to go heal up now, back in the playground. It'll be a lot easier there. Maybe we get some more gags. And then see if we got any groups going. See if anyone's looking for anyone building-wise. Get some help through there and kind of work our way through. Try to at least get one of these tasks kind of... I'm just kind of working on them. At least one of them. The, uh... Head hot show task might be a little wild. But at the very least, this one shouldn't pose too much of an issue. But I must say, I do like the fact how these treasures go up per playground in terms of what they heal. That part is just so, so nice. Alright, so there's nothing up. So I guess it looks like we're headed back out of the street. So we could take our chances. Oh, that's the other thing I can't tell. See, I didn't know whether to lure or just attack, because thankfully a creep hide does exactly 90 damage, which is enough to be precise about for a level 8 cock. That part is nice. The one thing I'm still trying to figure out, though, especially with this kind of angle, is like when you're in battle, trying to figure out whether or not the cogs are, you know, whether they're going to be joining. Because that makes a big difference in terms of what I want to do, you know, specifically for this turret, for example. And 80, so that's not going to be enough. Just go one up. Oops, did not mean to run into you, and you don't even fulfill what I need. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Well, I guess while we're, well, yeah, I guess we might as well just go back and figure there's no use really waiting. You know, this isn't like we're waiting tables, you know. I 
Oh great, more cogs are gonna join. This is just what we love to see. Although it is not too bad, especially if the slur hits. Like, this stuff isn't really that bad at all, but it's just all dependent on whether or not lure hits. Because I like the fact that I can take, you know, two on at once and be able to fulfill that task much simpler. Also, speaking of lure... So the one thought I've been having with it, especially, you know, it's a very alluring thought, you know, alluring. But, uh, pretty soon I'm going to actually be coming up on my next, like, is that activity point? I forget, it's been so long. Trading points, yeah, trading points, there we go. In terms of what to prestige. So, obviously that's a given, that one's going to stay. Ideally, for sure, I know I want to do Lur and Scorch it's a matter of the order for those two. But yeah, anyway, just, you know, so many options you can really do with it. That's for sure. You're gonna do there for sure, you know. Alright, we got this in the bag. The golf bag, that is. Very neat how they all give their own different, unique perspectives and tell you how to teleport and such. And we're so close. Look at that next level. Or about, what is that? Oh, I cannot math. Just a little less than 7,000 away. Something like that, I don't know. But we do need some shiny metal plates in Acorn Acres. It's very important. In there. So yeah, I jumped a little. We did get what we needed. We got the seven uh, golf caps and uh, moved on. It's the task light part, the main task light part at least. So shiny metal plates. Let's try this cog on for size. But yeah, so we need five of those shiny plate things. Don't quite know how easy they are to attain. That's the one thing I will say. I'm not quite sure how easy these are going to be here. I also love how it says, come on down. It's like, am I this? the next contestant on some type of uh, show or something? All right, my way of truth. Did I get one? Okay, I got one. I got one. That very exciting stuff. Only four more of these to go. And I'm already going to need more laugh. And the other thing is, if, as you're looking at that, 
So both square dead zap are looking pretty good to reach that final the tier of their own respective gag track than there. Oh, that was easy. There's another one. So yeah, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. Zap might get there actually before Squirt, which is interesting if you think about it because Zap needs Squirt to work, essentially. So it just goes to show you how many people, I guess, use Squirt and how important it is to have that Squirt Zap combo in the same route, nonetheless, being able to use that together like that. Okay, we're living on the wild side. Let's do it. Okay, we're already up to three out of five. That's pretty good. And certainly one thing, it would be a lot easier, certainly if you had someone alongside you. That's the one thing. I guess that's the one thing about a unique perspective among this here. Is that, you know, you could be playing along by yourself, but uh, you might not know how to do a situation like this because these cogs hit for a lot of damage. You see that? Just that alone. So actually, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, good. This is about to say, if that missed, just kind of run back. Because that's the type of thing, because sometimes, you know, you might have a friend playing along with you. It becomes easier that way. But if you're playing kind of alone like this, kind of in the streets, it does get to be a bit of a back and forth battle so to speak so you know certainly hopefully this serves as kind of a way to let you know like hey you squirt sap combo or blur throw combo or something in there to at least try and mediate the type of damage you're taking awesome so where are we headed so yeah the drop rates on that were not bad at all Pretty good. It took, what was that, just six cogs, six, seven cogs to get all five of them? Not bad. I'll take it. All right, time to put this peanut in its place. Okay, here you go. They're very shiny. Marvel with the shininess. Oh yeah, that's the thick. I didn't show this part, but uh, you gotta take a look at this. As soon as we get done reading, obviously. But, uh... Look at that. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Alright, so... Okay, so we need a five-story building. Or five or six. Five plus, you know. Plan B, I found another building. I 
Excellent. Well, it was an HQ group. And a uh, friend joined, so you know. And it does work out. Wait, wrong way. There we go. So you can see five story, which is. Which is awesome that it does fulfill our task, and we get to do it with some nice people, so that's even better. So let's get this show on the road as soon as we get our fourth member here, of course. Also, if you just listen to the, uh, Like, the music itself is just terrific, too. That's just terrific. We're all here for the antics. Alright, so basically, then once that's done, we just need to try to go back out to, I think it's Heat Up Place. And uh, just kind of try to add to this part of the task at least to try to figure out what's next. Alright, so now we're off to wall the way. Which is somewhere around here. That's right, the way is this way. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Deer and doe. That, that's, okay, that one's really clever. All right. Don't you be, let's cut to the cheese instead of chase. You know what I'm saying. There are a lot of boss spots around here. You know, cheeses and such. You know what I'm saying, right? Do you, doe? I know, I'm, I'm all boarded up with that. So yeah, so basically you just need to find more shiny metal plates, except specifically from board bots. And so remember, board bots are the ones with the uh, fancy looking heads. Also Mr. Question Mark right here. So anyway, There are board bots inv invading. So luckily for these purposes, we should be good to go. Now, if there were not board bots invading, where would be the best place if you're in Acorn Acres? Just kind of look around and see what there is. Well, Peanut Place, you have a little bit of a chance at finding board bots which is not a lot so to speak but certainly uh, better than nothing uh, i would recommend staying away from what would that be walnut way that leads to boss fight hq right to remember i think what is it is that acorn avenue up at the top Let me look that up.
Okay, there we go. So, oh, all Vidavidu. I keep thinking, because we're at Acorn Acres, that's what I'm thinking of. So yeah, all Vidavidu. Speaking of which, all Vid Extracts just go so terrific and everything. Have you ever been, you know, making something and you're like, this needs something, and it's like, all Vid Extract. Very good, if you if you like it. Anyway, though, so all of it, Avenue. I'm thinking that might be the best chance, because Lagoon Lane, I don't think that one worked out. And again, I'd stay away from uh, Walnut. Walnut Way as well. Uh, Peanut Place, you know, where we're at right now, this might be a somewhat of an okay chance. I'm thinking it's that one. That Almond Avenue up at the top might give you the best chance of finding board bots. If there's not an invasion. So that's something you need to consider as well. Or, of course, well, okay, let me look at the actual specifics of the task. Because actually, the one thing I do not remember is whether it's board bots anywhere or just in acorn acre so let me look at that first before i say this next part but i was going to say yeah looking for a building is also important too but of course if you can't find a building that's where it gets to be difficult okay so we already have two of the five but uh okay so they're anywhere so if you can find a board bot building just about anywhere any street uh that would work as well that would be just as fine to try to Get all five of these kind of in one fell swoop, kind of like that. Let's see, how much damage is that gonna? Okay, we should be okay. We should be fine. This is fine. This is okay. As I keep telling myself, okay, this is no longer fine or okay. As another one joins, we have bigger fish to fry right now. So I am definitely going to just run back and restock and relaugh and all that. And then as well as, you know, while I am running back here, I might as well go check out Alpid Avenue up at the top and see if that theory holds true in terms of percentages. Now, the other thing to consider is that percentages don't exactly mean that's what's actually going to reflect but they do give you good predictions, good odds, and that's, it'll at least guide you in the right direction. That's what's most important. I know people want to know like the exact percentage and, you know, they want to know things, but a lot of the time I've found you just have to kind of play the odds and see how it goes. Now, certainly here we're in an invasion right now. It's going to be 100% board bot, you know, oh well, these uh, fishes. As we go down this weird kind of all the down, so yeah, you see fifty percent. But as we go down this, I don't know. All the down is just kind of weird. You got that weird ominous music going. The street goes to a dead end. There's nothing on the other side of the street. There's no other playground. Is this this how all the mystery novels start? Okay, so I just want to know because I just saw something. We're exactly 1,000 away in Zap for getting that last. I don't... Is that the lightning bolt? I think that's the lightning bolt or whatever that's called. Lightning bolt, you say bolt, whatever uh, fast thing we got going here for us. Oh, I see how it is. I'm also re starting to realize that by using squirt that zap on these, they're suddenly becoming fillet of fishes. 
Because we're we're literally frying them. And the sad part is I did not bring enough tartar sauce for all of these. It's one of those sad things you slowly start to realize as you defeat more and more of them. Alright, come on, show me that I got at least one here. Oh, awesome, I got both. Okay, so that's pretty good. So again, you could teleport back, or you could just, if you're close enough to the tunnel, just kind of run back away from all the eeriness of the street. And then, here we are, and I think we're going, where we go, Walnut, right? Yeah, Walnut Way. Also, one other thing I just kind of realized, oh, okay, they might be, these posts look a little off, well, look a little off. So you take a look at how much this post kind of takes up in terms of the, uh, I don't know, like the, this part of the sidewalk that I'm standing on or whatever. I see how the post kind of goes around it, it takes up pretty much most of it, but there's just kind of a tiny bit sticking out over here. Whereas over here, the post doesn't take up as much of the sidewalk, and there's some a lot more noticeable of this end here sticking out. Very interesting. Am I the only one that's... Th I'm sorry, a little details like that get me. But, I will say, it's... Considering this is this part is wood, would you believe it? I always love these knock knock doors too. I know I always forget too, and I always forget where I'm going, but that's okay. Okay, so we do have to go back now. And now we're just going to try to figure out where we go from here. Do we got this part down? Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I noticed like when I run it, so, so okay, let me try it. So obviously like when you run at an angle like that, it's hard to get into the building. I do wonder though if like I'm just... Okay, maybe it's just if I'm running or maybe it's... Would it be the angle though? Hang on, I've got to try this out. I love experimenting for science. Obviously this is for science. So... See, because here's the thing. When you run at an angle like this to avoid the cogs... Here, I'll try that again. When you run at an angle to try to avoid the cogs, you can't necessarily get into the door. Versus if you're kind of like here, and you're just going normal speed. Wow, completely missed the mark there. But if you're going like normal speed. Okay, so it's not just that. You have to try and hit it head on. So kind of like... Okay. So you see, yeah, that's kind of the biggest issue I've had personally with the... It's not an issue exactly, but it's just one of those things where it's like... I can't get it to the door, let me in. Open the gate. Oh, 
Okay, so now I have to find some crazy dynamite. Well, if you could just give me some time to trade my trap, I could get you some dynamite in a little bit here, you know? Excuse me, sir. I would like to battle, fight, battle. You know, come on, sir. Oh, great. More rejoining. This is always terrific. On the bright side, though, because for Larbing... Okay, so it's 70% base effectiveness. For it being 70%, that's pretty good in terms of what it's hitting. Because it does seem to work about 70% of the time. I was going to say, it does work probably around... You want to call it between 70 and 75%. Of course, the 25% when you need it is when you need it to work, you know. It's like, oh, dire situation. Need this. Fail. So yeah, that's kind of what we got going for us, which is nice. Uh-oh, Lure Decay. And that's kind of what I was talking about way earlier in the episode when I was talking about what to do next with strategic purposes with either Lure or Squirt next. It's like Squirt's very nice if you're trying to go with Zap combos too, but at the same time, that just, that extra barrier to Lure Decay is just so good. Hopefully either of those two uh, guppies had the, uh, what I was looking for, the dynamite. Awesome. I really exploded onto the seed with that one. Yay, we're friends now. That's always so exciting. Okay, so... We just kind of make sure. Tasks, there we go. Okay, so we gotta go back there for the next part. And... Let me look up because I know I've because I know I've kind of alluded to uh, about the trading point and such. I know we're getting close because we're at level sixty-seven. Okay, there we go. It shows up now. Level sixty-seven. And I know it's coming up. I forget what kind of if it was sixty-eight or six. Somewhere around 68 to 70, I want to say, maybe. Could have sworn it was somewhere in the 67 to 70 range. I keep forgetting. Cause it's somewhere in there, I know, where you get, like, that... the next one. But it wasn't 67. It might be 68. And then if it's not 68, it might be 70. But regardless, I know it's coming up, so that's why I was kind of talking about the whole what to do with the next training point type thing. There are good ways either way to try and think about it. And there are certainly good reasons for doing it either way. At the end of the day, though, I am going to have it for both of them. Both, you know, Lure and Squirt. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much because the next one will just be used for whatever wasn't used this time. But certainly it gives me a lot to think about. And with that said, we went on a little spit there because I didn't know which uh, which street we were going down. So now here we go with the fence kind of sticking out right there and uh, me running into the fence. And then you see, so here, the, so okay, you notice where we were at before with the posts 
in the road here they aren't kind of like taking up much of the sidewalk at all they're all kind of they're both of both sides are they're symmetrical but they're in the all kind of like in the middle now like the sidewalk doesn't poke through any of it it's very interesting the detail the graphic of it all it's all very interesting i like it There we go. You got to run at a right angle. Well, not a right angle is at a 90 degree angle, but a right angle is at like, got to hit the a specific point. Doodle shelter, you say, I'll get right on it. I actually don't even have a doodle yet. I need to look into that. I don't even know if I get a doodle here or where's the best place. Oh, go fishing. I was about to say, there are no ponds in the streets, are there? Because that was going to be a lot quicker, but we're just going to run over here real quick and take care of this. Oh yeah, that's right, it's Wednesday at the time of this recording, this portion at least, so we got Fish Bind Go going on. I certainly wish I could go have some fun with this. What is it? Five wooden planks I need, I believe. Five of them. Yeah. And so if the next task does require a bit more effort, kind of, which I think it might, uh, we, we will end the episode kind of here. That way we aren't having too much of an episode and it's all kind of condensed and easier to follow in that type of way. So we will run back, look at the dialogue, read it, and see where we go from here. Hey, if we're talking about cheese here, it would be a breeze. You know, brie. Cheese. Breeze. Okay, yeah, so we do need a cog factory. So with that said, just, yeah, there's that going right now. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. We're going to end the episode here before it gets too, too late in it, you know. But I do want to thank you all for watching. Hope you had a good laugh or two here and there, obviously, and you learned some stuff. I know I learned some stuff always when I'm playing here, but... Thank you again, and I'll see you next time, everyone.